here and I'm going to be reacting to the new patch. Um, so there's a lot of big changes in here for fire items and ADC items, so let's get into it. So we're starting with nerfs um, for champions and buster champions. So the first one is for Gangplank. They've decreased uh, Gangplank's AD growth and they've also nerfed the E bonus damage on critical strikes. So this is because um, they are changing the ADC fighters and the crit items. So because of those changes, Gangplank is going to be very strong. So they're trying to make it so that he's the same level. Um, if they're trying to make him the same level, I don't think that his play rate or his win rate is going to change at all. I think it's going to be the same. Um, but bonus damage on critical strikes may decrease his damage output a little bit, but Gangplank still one-shots anyway. So yeah, um, decrease in play rate and win rate. Heimerdinger, they're decreasing the, the Q turret health and they're increasing the W magic damage at late game. Um, so Q turret health decrease is uh, is a big nerf because it means that in lane when the, the turrets are poking you out, because Heimerdinger is now played as a support, you can kill the turrets quicker so you take less damage. And then um, Heimerdinger also has to wait for the recharge. So I think that's a good nerf, and I think a lot of supports and ADCs are going to be very happy with this nerf. Uh, the W nerf, again, less damage in the early game, but as they buff the AP ratio, you're going to be doing more damage with the late game. Um, uh, so yeah, so I think a decrease in win rate because Heimerdinger early game poke, if that's weakened, and the enemy bot lane can do much better now, um, I feel like Heimerdinger is going to come on. Uh, come like into power a lot later not to mention Heimerdinger is very squishy in lane so it's very easy to capitalize um, if you can start killing the Heimerdinger really early because um, it doesn't have any escape apart from flash so yeah decrease in play rate and win rate I think. Kassadin they're only changing the E decrease I find this really interesting because Kassadin is so strong because the Rod of Ages changes as well as the, the Seraph's uh, changes and I don't think the E nerf, like I don't think E was the issue with Kassadin. I think the alt is the biggest issue with Kassadin at the moment because you can stack um, the R passive so quickly, not to mention that Seraphs now gives you bonus damage with the bonus mana. So I don't know if this nerf is actually going to do anything. I think his play rate is going to stay the same because Kassadin mains are going to be like, oh, nothing like my damage output isn't changed it's just the timing i can do this damage is changing um so they're going to keep playing it people are still going to get rinsed by it so they're, so they're still going to be banning it and they're still going to be realizing that oh kassadin is just free low so i think kassadin is going to stay i think his ban rate might even go up but i think his play rate and his win rate are going to just stay the same kindred so they're decreasing the q damage um, so that's actually a big nerf because Q is one of your main ways of farming the jungle as well as Sorry catching up to champions when you're chasing them in these fights So Q damage means you clear the jungle slower as well as you do less damage um, So I think this is going to be a nerf. I think the play rate of Kindred is going to go down and I think the win rate um, Of Kindred is also going to go down as well because of um, the slower clear, meaning that other junglers are now stronger than Kindred and can get to lanes and affect and impact the game quicker than Kindred can. So Lilia, they've done a lot of changes here. So they've increased the passive AP scaling. They've also increased the Q AP scaling um, and the E AP scaling, not to mention that e, the E cooldown now decreases with rank. So all this AP scaling means that on your first back, you're going to be stronger, a lot stronger than you were before. This means that you're going to be able to clear the jungle quicker and you're also going to be able to kill people quicker. So, yeah, um, early game, I don't think there's going to be too much, but late game, their AP ratios, that impact is going to be big. And Lilia in a really good strong state is really hard to deal with because A, of the movement speed, uh, B, the healing, and C, just the, just the, like, the tick damage. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's one thing. So I think play rate and win rate definitely go and go up. The other thing to take into consideration is that uh, they are nerfing Demonic Embrace for melee champions, um, the tick damage. I don't think that's going to be too big given these AP ratio changes, um, but I think that Lilia is going to be very present in the next patch until 13.3. So Lucian, they've decreased the base mana. Uh, they've increased the mana growth rate, uh, buffed at level 9, they've decreased base mana regeneration uh, and they've they've decreased it and they've also increased the, the growth rate of base mana regeneration, buffed at level 14. So what they're trying to do here is they're trying to make it so that Lucian is much more of a late game champion, more than an early game champion, and Lucian is also going to be impacted by these new items, the new changes, so Lucian is still going to be in a stronger state. Um, and so I think that what this means is that early game, if you're playing Lucian, you're going to have to be really careful with how you use your abilities. 
Um, for example, if you want to trade and you want to try and get lane presence, that's all good. But if you're using your abilities to farm the wave, you're going to be in a worse state and you're going to be um a lot quicker. Um, so I think early game, this is going to really impact Lucian players. Um, not to mention that Nami is also being nerfed in this patch, so I do see, I do think that Lucian Nami is going to be decreased, play rate and win rate. Um, but if they're buffed at level 14 plus, who knows? Maybe the, the the win rate and the play rate may stay the same, given that the the it's buffed at later stages of the game. Not to mention the the new ADC items, they just feel better, so that Lucian players are still playing Lucian and still finding ways to impact the game in a positive output in that positive way. So Maokai, they're decreasing the, the Q bonus damage to monsters and they're decreasing the E magic damage. So these are big nerfs. This means that Maokai, who's been very present in not only pro scene, but just in ranked in general. Uh, so you're going to be clearing the jungle camp a lot slower. You're also going to be doing less damage in fights. Um, Q and E are your main ways of clearing the jungle, especially if you have a brush. So Raptors, Buffs, Gromp. Um, those four camps you can take really quickly because you can get the empowered ease. Um, so I think that these are going to be big nerfs. Again, uh, if you clear the jungle slower, that means that you impact the game later, which means opponent junglers can impact the game and can um, have it so that you're on the back foot and that you have to react to what the opponent jungler is instead of you setting the pace. So I think that these are good nerfs. I think. However, I do think the W lock-on is still so strong, like it's just because it's guaranteed CC and this is a bit of a tanky meta, I think that Maokai play rate is still going to say the same because Maokai is just such a strong pick, especially in low elo, I don't think it's going to do too much because all you need to do is hit the W and the R and build tanky and then boom, you're done, right? Um, but his damage output is definitely going to be hurt after this. Uh, so I think win rate will go down, especially if people are rushing the uh, demonic embrace now that it's been nerfed. So I think play rate is going to decrease. No, no, sorry. Play rate is going to stay the same, but win rate is going to decrease. Nami, they're adjusting the W and they've decreased the base damage on E. So the adjustment is that uh, you do less damage early game, but because of a higher AP ratio, you kind of make that damage up late game, or you could even be doing more damage uh, late game. So these nerfs um, are going to make her less uh, oppressive in lane, which is a really good thing. And also, like before, Lucian has been nerfed, so I think that these are really good things to put together. I'm really happy with what I'm seeing, and I'm glad to see that Nami has also been adjusted. It's not like um, because Lucian's been nerfed, Nami has to be put into the ground. It's like Nami can still work with other champions, so the W adjustment will still help her in lane. Um, so I think play rate is... Play rate and win rate are probably going to decrease because it's a nerf, um, but I still think that she's going to be in a generally okay state of the game. Oriana, she's getting some big changes. Passive damage is adjusted. It now does um, a lot more damage, I believe. Um, oh, damage is unchanged. Sorry, my apologies. Q damage increase to consecutive targets. W mana cross decrease and R damage increased. So the Q damage is really strong because it's now... So how it used to work is it did 100% damage at the first target and then damage was reduced afterwards by 10%. Um, uh, and now it's damage afterwards is reduced to 70%, which is a huge amount of damage. This is going to mean that, because um, this is your main ability, Oriana is going to be able to um, clear the wave so much quicker and she's going to be able to do so much more damage in lane. And I think that this is also going to mean that she's going to become a much more of a roaming mid laner and she's going to be well suited and be very um, present in uh, pro play and ranked not to mention because of Rod of Ages because of Seraph she uses those items she's going to be very very strong um, in patch 13.1b the, the W mana cost decrease is also big because that's one of your main damage abilities so and that's what you want to be spamming when you move the ball so that's a huge buff to Oriana not to mention that the command shockwave it's getting uh, 100 damage more at level 18, 50 damage more at level 6, and you're getting plus 10% AP. This is a nearly 100% AP ratio, so you, if, you, if you hit this, you're guaranteed to do late game around 600 to 700 damage. Um, and then, of course, resistances, but still 700 damage of one ability, and you're not like building off meta or anything, that's fucking huge. So I think Orion is going to be very present in patch 13 one point B. Rise, the decrease in the base magic resist and the decrease in the passive AP scaling. This means that 
Um, if you, if you're playing Rise, you're gonna be playing uh, when you're versing AP mid laners, like let's say Oriana, you're gonna be weaker, which means you're gonna get pushed out of lane more, which means that you're gonna have to um, you're gonna lose a lot more of the wave, and you're also gonna lose lane, I think, early game. And losing and because they're losing four percent on the passive, you're also gonna be doing less damage late game because the passive doesn't really do much early when you're stacking Rod of Ages and Seraphs. Um, so I think Ryze's play rate and win rate is going to go down. Udia, the Q AD scaling is decreased, attack speed increased, and R base damage decreased. Um, so if damage has been decreased, Udia is going to be able to is going to clear the jungle slower. Um, bonus attack speed late game means that you can still probably one shot people. Um, and if you're going like you know Prowler's Claw, the one shot build, um, I still think you're going to do really well. You're going to be super squishy, so it's not going to do much. Um, if you can't kill the first person you prowess claw or E onto. But uh, these nerfs are going to mean that Udi is going to clear the jungle slower, impact the game and the map later. So, <laughs> sorry, I think play rate and win rate is going to decrease. Yumi, these are huge nerfs, so the attack damage is decreased. Passive now temporarily increases your attack range. Um, so, th what this means is that for Yumi to hit her, to get her passive off where she gets mana, um, from auto attacking champions, she's gonna have to get a lot closer to champions, which means she's gonna be put into the damage, the danger threshold a lot. Um, it's gonna be a lot less safe for her to be farming mana off. So well, she's gonna be uh, threatened a lot more in the early set of the game. Not to mention the shield strength has also been uh, nerfed. Love that. Uh, w, you and me, the adaptive force decreased. Love that. And the movement speed no longer has an AP ratio, so it's a flat 20% movement speed. Um, so these nerfs, I think they're, they're huge. I think Yumi is going to be gutted after this. In pro play, I think you'll still see her, um, but in just normal rank, if you see a Yumi, you're going to be... It's, it's, it's over in draft, my friend. Because, like, she's already not that great in lane, but and, like, your ADC is going to lose even harder, or, like, there's a higher chance you lose that lane now, just because these nerfs are so severe to Yumi. So I think play rate and win rate and ban rate are all going to go down. Zoe, the E now reduces the opponent's magic resist when asleep. This is huge. This means that she's going to be doing a lot more one shots. And I think you're going to be seeing a lot more Zoe one shot like montages. Um, uh, in pro play, I think Zoe is going to be popping up a bit more as well. Because in pro play, you know, the pro players are going to be hitting these E's. And they're going to be one shotting. So I think this is a, a really good buff while keeping everything the same like numbers wise so i think it's going to be a buff to play rate and win rate so fighter items eclipse is losing its omni vamp it's gaining ability haste the shield cooldown is going down and the item recipe has been updated what this means omni vamp first of all means that it's going to um eclipse is not going to be that a sustain item anymore which means that if you lose a fight or like a trade in lane it, you're not going to be able to get back to what you were and so this is going to impact champions like Aatrox and um, other champions that use Eclipse very uh, a lot however the the trade-off is that you are getting ability haste so I think that this is going to become for assassins I think they're going to really like this item because A the shield means that you're a bit tankier while doing a lot of damage and B ability haste means you're going to get your abilities off a lot quicker so I think um, Aatrox and other champions that use Eclipse, are they're definitely going to be um, not happy about this uh, change. Um, but I think people who verse and don't like Aatrox are going to be very happy with this change. So the Orn upgrade, they've also reduced, they've also got rid of the Omni Vamp and they've uh, added um, Ability Haste to it. Gore Drinker, they've changed the Mythic passive, it's now 50 health plus 3 Ability Haste, I really like that. That means that at uh, full build you get 250 HP plus 15 Ability Haste. So it does mean that you're a bit more beefier in these fights, so I think it's a really good thing. And people are going to start to look at Gore Drinker again a bit more. Ravenous Hydra, they've changed it from Omni Vamp to Lifesteal. They've increased the Ability Haste and the cleave damage will now trigger Lifesteal. So this is, uh, this is a big change. I believe because what this means now is that if you want to uh, heal up you'll have to auto attack you can't use abilities i believe that's what omni vamp uh, means the 20 the plus five ability haste is huge i think people are still going to be buying ravenous hydra like this is a crazy item still and cleave damage still will trigger your life steal so this is i think this is a still a really good item i think the 
buy rate and play rate and win rate for people with Ravenous Hydra, that's going to go up, I think, because this is still a great item. I think the buff, 5 ability haste on that is going to make it insane. Um, and I guess that's a compensation for losing Omnivamp on your abilities. So, a bit worried to see champions with that, um, like Cled, Irelia, stuff like that, but ooh, I'm, I'm intrigued. Uh, so for more Malmortius, they've removed the Omnivamp, they've made it lifesteal as well. They've given it more attack damage, but they've gotten rid of the ability haste. Um, that's interesting, but I think people are still going to be buying more because it is the shielding option for uh, AP champions, and AP champions like Cassidin, Oriana, Rise, Swain, Cassiopeia, they're all still big at the moment. And Anivia, stuff like that, because of Ceres and Rod of Ages, so I think people are still going to buy it. I think, um, especially ADCs, and I think ADCs will be happier because they're getting lifesteal. Um, and I don't think Ability Haste mat matters too much to ADC, so I think um, it's a good change. I like this change. Uh, Death Stance, they've increased the AD by 10, they've increased the armor by 5, they've gotten rid of the Ability Haste, and they've changed the Defy Healing by 70%, and they've updated the, the recipe. So, I think this is a good nerf. Death Stance, I think, was, while it's a, it's a very good item, it was still in such a state that it was just so bonkers. Like, if you're versing Aatrox, Talon, you know, or any of these fighters in the top lane, they have to... Death Stance is like a mandatory item because it's essentially um, a mini triumph, except without the gold, because of the healing. So I think this is huge, um, huge changes. Uh, I, like, the AD and the armor are going to be good for fighters because they're you know, going to do more damage and they'll be a bit beefier. No ability haste means they'll be doing using their abilities a bit slower. Um, which is going to impact them in fights because uh, fighters do need their abilities and the less healing means that there's a higher chance that even if they get one kill you're still going to get them and you're going to kill them quicker so I think this is a good change. Black Cleaver increased the AD by 5 and the health by 50 good change and I think this means that now that it, they've kept the like effect the same a lot more people are going to be buying uh, Black Cleaver instead of the above items. So Grievous Wounds um, what they're doing is that they're increasing it to 40% instead of 25% on all, and they're compensating the, the item's uh, stats um, because of this huge change to um, Thing Magic, to Grievous Wound, sorry. So Chemtech Purify, they're making it better for enchanters by adding increased healing and shielding strength as well as the Grievous Wounds. That's a big change and it's really good, really strong for um, supports. Varela Nomicon, they're decreasing the HP, they're adding magic penetration and um, more Grievous Wounds, so I think that's really strong, it's a good change. Execution is Calling, decreasing the AD, but they're increasing the Grievous Wounds, good change. Kempunk Chainsword, they're just increasing the Grievous Wounds, and this item is being first bought on a lot of junglers in the pro scene at the moment, so this item is still going to stay, it's, that's huge. Mortal Reminder, they've gotten rid of the attack speed and they're giving it armor pen, uh, remove the movement speed and give and buff the grievous wounds um so i think this is really good with the armor pen because uh it felt like if you were versing these super tanky champions like i really yeah, etc um you had to go for mortal reminder but you didn't you didn't get any of the um armor pen so you did less damage but you had to get it for the grievous wounds and then the grievous wounds didn't even feel like it was doing anything so i think this is a really good change and adcs are going to be really happy with new mortal reminder Lord Doms are just buffing the AD, which is good, because it was a good item and it was in a good spot um, because of, of fucking hard steel. There's a hard steel, the the mythic that buffs your health, HP. So Lord Doms was always in a good spot. More AD, ADCs will be happy with that. Bramble Vest, magic damage reflected is increased and grievous wounds has been buffed. Good changes. Tanks are going to be happy about that. Thorn Mail, they've changed it so that it's ten. Uh, plus 25% bonus armor, and they've also made it 40% Grievous Wounds on everything. So Tank's going to be happy with that, that. So these are really big changes, because um, A, fighter changes are being uh, like adjusted, compensated, B, HP, like healing is definitely being targeted. Um, so I think a lot of people are going to be happy about this, and I think uh, champions that use Conqueror are going to be decreased. They're going to lose their... This is like an indirect... Um, nerf to them. Uh, Conqueror, people that rush Blade of the Rune King, Bloodthirster, um, Ravenous Hydra, etc. Increased Grievous Wounds is going to be doing a lot, and I think people, are, a lot of people are going to be happy with these changes, as I am as well. 
So ADC class um, adjustments, they're adjusting some of the items to make it um, to make it feel better. So Infinity Edge and Navori Quick Blades, they made it so that you only need 40% to get the passive instead of 60. This is huge. This means that um, when you hit two items, you'll be doing so much more damage. Um, so in patch 13.1, everyone can, well, a lot of people I knew were just like, oh, why would I, why should I play ADC? It's actually just farm until you get three items because that's when you have 60% crit and that's when you can either use IE or Navori. Now they've changed it so that you can get a second item and you'll be doing a lot more damage because you have the passive. So ADCs are going to come online a lot quicker and that's going to be, that's a really good feeling um, for ADCs because well, it's like five to 10 minutes, I think, per item average so it's huge that you're going to be hitting your power spike five minutes minimum uh, earlier so bloodthirster they made it cheaper they've increased the shield um which is huge so for 180 um and they've also decreased the life steal so a bigger shield everyone's going to be happy with that not to mention cheaper so that means that this item is going to be more cost efficient uh, yes it lost three percent life steal but you gained a uh, bigger shield so i think that this is a good change and then there are then there are a lot of acs where they're changing the mana growth ash caitlin ezreal Jin. they've actually changed the mana costs the e is now 30 at all ranks the w has been um buffed by so it's move 20 mana at level 18 gonna be very happy with this uh jinx kaiser misfortune senna siva twitch zaya all of these champions are getting mana uh buffs essentially which and not to mention so this is going to be really good um because a lot of these champions do need mana to use their abilities to like farm um example zaya q twitch w siva q and w etc so better mana um scales and like curves for them is going to be really good so adcs i think are going to be very strong next patch other items blade of the room king has been nerfed its cooldown is now 30 seconds on the passive the range on hit damage is now uh, one percent more and siphon bonus damage has been nerfed it's now 40 to 103 instead of 40 to 150 so this is nerfing uh, so it's nerfing fighters again like irelia fiora um etc and it's buffing adcs who want to build it, who want to go blade like ad twitch um lucian sometimes so this is a really big adjustment um because blade was like a you had to rush it straight away kind of item in patch 13.1 demonic same thing it was a rush first item because it was just so strong so they've changed it so that they've nerfed it for melee champions and they buffed it for range champions so people like swain and malzahar and olivia they're going to be happy with this change and people like zach and um zach who's the other one maokai uh, they're going to be they're going to be doing less damage so i'm liking this change and then essence reaver they're buffing the ad and they're buffing the cost i believe that 10 ad does outweigh 100 gold so now essence reaver is going to be uh, more cost efficient and because of the mana growth a lot more adcs uh, mana adcs are going to be buying this item so yeah i think definitely for patch 13.1b um i think we're going to be looking at an ad meta and um, and uh because of an ad meta i think we're also going to be looking at a support meta um like enchanters are definitely going to be strong like rakan karma Tarek. i think anyone who can who can have radiant virtue uh is going to be strong yes grievous runes was buffed but there's you if you can you know buy art and sensor and redemption and stuff like that just to make sure that your adc um can live like if you can peel and you can make sure adc is all good then i think uh you're gonna win the game easily so i think we're looking at um junglers passing to bot more because bot is going to be one of the most important lanes uh moving forward uh i think in terms of buffs i don't think there's anyone here who i'd say is too strong i think oriana might be one of the contenders because she was indirectly buffed by the mana change items in 13.1 so I think she is a bit stronger. Um, in terms of AECs, I think Twitch uh, might be very high up there, but not because Twitch is going to be buying AD. I think AP Twitch is going to be very strong. It's already super strong um, in lane and in the mid lane. And now with better mana growth, you can WE more 
and you can do your whole combo more so i think twitch is definitely going to be looked at for nerfs next patch um gin support was something i saw popping up and mana decrease means that gin support is going to be stronger um so maybe it'll be looked at i don't think so um one item that i'm surprised they didn't nerf is umbral glaive umbral glaive has been again one of those rush it straight away items uh for support and that's why things like gin support and center support have been working really well um i don't know what how what they would change to do it i imagine they would change the the cooldown on the um the effect of that you can one shot award but we'll have to see but yeah i hope uh if you're if you made it here i hope you've enjoyed my take uh, i do apologize if there was some rambling as i am just first time in this i've just this is the first time i've read the patch notes um but yeah i think adc and support is going to be where you want to go uh, in patch 13.1 if you like this content make sure to like and subscribe as i'll be doing a lot of lead content and a lot of reacting content in the future and uh, yeah thanks for watching bye